Relief is pouring in. People not just across the country, but across the globe, are rallying to help the victims of Typhoon Haiyan in the central Philippines. Problem is, because of the extent of the devastation, much of the help can't get to where it's most needed. Please tell my family I'm alive. We need water and medicine because a lot of people we're with are wounded. Some are suffering from diarrhea and dehydration due to shortages of food and water. Many of those who survived the strongest storm in history haven't even been able to let their families know how they are. Communication lines are damaged and power is still cut off to many areas. The primary goal now, government officials say, is to clear a path through all the debris for help to get through. Our problem is, is getting more relief goods in because the roads are not yet accessible. Okay? I myself already helped. Even the day after the storm, we were retrieving bodies at the same time clearing roads. And the problem is 90% um, to 95% of people in City Hall are also casualties. It seems no one in Haiyan's path was spared. In all, more than 9.5 million people across 44 provinces in the Philippines were affected. And the feeling of desperation, three days after the typhoon hit, is easy to see. My daughter's wounds are open and they are bad. It needs to be operated on, but she cannot be transferred to another hospital because there is no transportation. To help themselves, many of the victims have taken to looting, not just damaged establishments, but even taking what they can from the dead. You have to understand that the people here uh, show some, some, and just a few, some violent actions because they're hungry, because they're thirsty. It's not because they want to harm anybody. Special forces have been brought in to keep the peace. More importantly, battalions have been flown in from Manila to work specifically on clearing operations. Help is arriving. Now the challenge is to deliver it to the people who need it. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.